Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Today's video contains some interesting elements. The heart of Africa, cannibalism, slave trade, and a rich heir to a whiskey empire. James Jameson was the great-great-grandson of John Jameson, founder of Jameson Irish Whiskey, and heir to his empire. James viewed himself as a great explorer, which is what leads us to the events of today's story. In June of 1888, Jameson was part of the Emin Pasha Relief Expedition. This expedition was supposedly taking supplies to the leader Emin Pasha of an Ottoman-controlled state in Central Africa due to a rebel outbreak cutting off their supplies of basic needs. But the expedition was truly there to help capture land of a free state inside the Congo. James found himself as the leader of the rear party in the expedition. During this time, he named slave trader Tipu Tip as his point man. Jameson became fascinated with the culture in this part of Africa and the ritual of cannibalism that some tribes practiced in those days. We learn of the events that took place from Masad Faran, a member of the expedition thereafter from an affidavit that was published in the New York Times. He recounted the events. Jameson expressed his desire to see a tribe partake in cannibalism to Tipu. Tip told James that he would have to pay for a slave and give the slave to the tribe for this horror to take place. Jameson proceeded to offer six handkerchiefs in exchange for a 10-year-old slave girl. The price was agreed upon. The slave girl was then delivered to the tribe where the elders were told that this white man wants to see you eat this girl. The tribe then proceeded to sharpen their knives. The girl was then tied up, stabbed twice in the stomach, and then decapitated. Farn recounts that not a piece of the girl was left as the tribesmen hurried off to the river to clean the body parts for consumption. Jameson then watched as the girl was eaten and he sketched every gory detail. It was said that after he was done with his sketches that he retreated to his tent to finish the sketches by adding watercolors. James Jameson would go on to deny these events as would his wife, but even parts of his diary bear proof to the fact that the event took place. He claimed that he was only joking when asking to see the slave girl eaten, but he did offer a price of six handkerchiefs and it was agreed upon. So the facts seem to bear witness to the fact that he actually wanted this to take place. Jameson never stood trial or was punished for what took place, but he did die shortly after from a fever. All non-scientific expeditions would be stopped shortly after this expedition took place. Although government expeditions from the Belgian government continued to go, we thank you so much for joining us today for this gory tale. We appreciate you all so much. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Until the next one.